Range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. And you know, the adjustments should have already been made. They know he's a good shooter from that spot. Pass to Matthews. Now Middleton. The three is up. Launches a three. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. The three is up. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Serge Ibaka. So it's the Grizzlies now. Pass to Bain. It's tipped. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. The finish! Oh, and Adams, strong finish. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Here's Middleton. Now Ibaka. Holiday from long range. The rebound by Jackson. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Jaron Jackson Jr. is one of the most promising young big men that we have in this game, B.A. He's capable of spacing the floor and protecting the paint. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Middleton, right side. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Tries to spin move. Outside Holiday. Just four to shoot. And the Bucks miss again. And those big men who block shots and shoot, sometimes given the label of unicorns, would you say Jackson falls into that category, Smitty? Without question. And you can win with a player like Jaron Jackson. He doesn't need the ball in his hands to have a positive impact on this game. On to the Kumpo. And the basket is good. On to the Kumpo has got his second basket. Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient score inside Two 10 feet. In the, Two the three from Bain. He drops it from range. Bain's got 12 points. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific mood right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. That's the line for the Bucks. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. An all-star, a leader, Drew Holiday can be counted on night in and night out to make a difference. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Giannis Antetokounmpo talked to me about signing the extension to remain in Milwaukee. He said, my goal stays the same. Get better day by day, step by step. As long as that's what we're all focused on, why not play for the Bucks for 25 years? There is no reason for me to move. Well, he certainly found a home, Allie. Good stuff there. On to Kumpo, left side. Good. On to Kumpo has got four points in the quarter. Nice dime to the open man. George Hill, more of a combo guard, making things happen right there. Bain, no good. The Bucks trail. On to Kumpo, outside. With the drive. 
Oh, and Jackson with the block. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul. And for the Bucks. Bucks call timeout. Pretty even game going here in Memphis. They're coming off that loss against Portland. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Pure from three-point range. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Middleton. Here's Matthews. Back to Middleton. Six on the shot clock. And here's Ibaka. Over Williams. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. Good shot. Gone bad. Gotta finish there. And the shot goes in. Now you see him. Now you don't. There's only a few players that are faster with the ball than John Morant. And they barely get to retain possession. Many times, that's a turnover. Ibaka down low. And that one's good. Middleton. Middleton's got 13 points. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Well, you were Rookie of the Year back in 1995, Grant. For young guys coming into the league, how difficult are expectations right out of the gate? Well, rookies these days are way younger than when I played. I mean, I was 22 my first year uh, in the league after four years in college. So, you know, I think we have to... Give these young players time to develop and learn how to become great in the NBA. From deep, Moran hits a three-pointer. Nine points in the game. I love the competitive fire John Moran plays with. Coming right back with his own three. Pass to Middleton. Lana de Kumpo outside. Over Williams. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Memphis leading. Williams with it. Guarded by Anadokounmpo. Here's Bain. Fires the three. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Back to back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. And it's in there. A polished scorer who continues to add to his game. Middleton gives defenders some serious problems. It's stolen by Holiday. Inside. Here's Portis. That shot is off. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Pass to Jackson. Outside Moran. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. You know, one of the things that makes John Morant so special is his ability to drive and finish with either hand. A natural righty, but he actually prefers going left. Now Williams. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Portis. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Oh, the swap by Adams. That's the length of Adams, but also the good instincts defensively. The kick out to Williams. Outside Moran. Pass to Bain. The three. Good. And the setup by Moran. 
Baines got 24. And Smitty, you look at Ja Morant's numbers. He's even better finishing with his left hand. This special because around the rim, you don't know whether he's going to finish with his right or left. He makes it look so easy. Also passing, he can throw lobs and make hook passes with either hand. As a floor general, that's a tremendous asset. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Memphis foul. Zion Good. And that's his second personal foul. First team foul. Milwaukee with the ball. Nine point game. Allen on the wing. Pass to Portis. Back to Allen. Shot clock at six. To the middle. To the left wing. Here's Bembry. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Two minutes remaining in the third. Now Moran. Beyond the arc. And again, it's Memphis with a three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Anadokounmpo outside. Connects on the 17-footer. Anadokounmpo has got eight points. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. To the inside. Left side, Moran. Fires from deep. Kept alive. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Moran. Ooh, stolen by Allen. He's got a clear path for the finish. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Sends it home from three-point land. Baines got nine points now in the quarter. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Morant with it. The kick out to Williams. And they get it back. Pass to Bain. 4-3. He can't get it to go. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Controls the rebound and the putback. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Bucks call timeout. All right, Sergi Bacchus, Jordan Ward, Wesley Matthews, George Hill. Back to Moran. Pass to Bain. Just three on the clock. Here's Adams. What do you love about Serge on this end? Has the lateral quickness and hops to really challenge shooters. And so Hold on, fans. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Outside Morant. Block and foul call, though. Giannis Adetokounmpo. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. 
Jackson, the screen. Out to the right wing. Pass to Williams. Back to Bain. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. And with an out-of-this-world wingspan, Giannis can simply lock up just about anyone on the defensive end. First team foul. Here's Bain. Anacupo with the block. And it's Middleton driving. Good. And Anacupo gets the assist. Middleton's got 20 points. Up top, Moran. The shot no good. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. And the foul on Steven Adams. That's his first foul of the game. And the Bucks making a change here. The Bucks trail. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Middleton. From the arc. And the box hit again from deep. Had that one in his sights, too. His fifth triple of the game, second this half. Here's Moran. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to Bain. Throws up at the strike. They grab their own miss. Jacks up a three. That one no good. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. Appreciate the report, Allie. He is tenacious. Love to watch him battle on the defensive glass. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Jackson, the screen. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his third foul so far. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Now Moran. Three-pointer. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Middleton's got 13 points here in the second half alone. To halt the run. And Moran with the lay-in. Tremendous effort from John Moran, letting his team know they can rely on him. Out of the Kupo, outside. Holiday from long range. And another three for Milwaukee. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. And it's slammed in by Adams. 
and the muscle from Adams there. Able to take the hit and still finish off the shot. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. You know what else? They never seem to get cold from mid-range tonight. Just keep hitting those jumpers. Here's Moran. Williams on the wing. Pass to Bain. Let's go with a three. He buries it from three. Bain's got 30. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Holiday grabs the miss. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Moran. And a nice finish on the layup. Moran's got four points this quarter. John Moran in the open floor. This guy's speed is next level, and he can finish. Spins. Back to Ana Kumpo. Pass to Allen. Four on the clock. Off target with the three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside for Moran. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. This is what it's come down to. Yes, indeed. A monster possession. Kicks it out to Middleton. There's the triple. Money from deep. Oh, whoa. That is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Pass to Williams. Adams a screen. The three from Bain. And he drills the triple. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. Timeout called by Milwaukee. For the, the score is all tied at 60. Milwaukee There's six seconds out. left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right. The There's six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Anadokounmpo. They could win it. Oh! Gets the game winner to fall! An amazing finish. It doesn't get any better than that. Was that for real? Did I just see that? So it's a narrow victory for the Bucks.